Medina's on the move. Already two big turns, big lively float in the flats to seal the deal. Welcome everyone to WSL Surf 101. I'm Jessie Miley Dyer, Head of Competition for the World Surf League. And today we're gonna to talk about the foundational move for every surfer, the floater. What is a floater? Higurashi crushes it in the pocket, back off the coping and stomps it. A means of negotiating a section, a floater is when you surf over the top of a breaking wave as it comes crashing down in front of you. The key to a floater is to lighten up your body as you glide across the falling section of water. Then at the critical time, compress and prepare to ride out of the turbulent white water to safety. The look at this wave on the outside, Chris and Moore. Incredible timing off the lip, there's the float now. Judges are looking for progression when it comes to floaters. Ooh, Kelly Slater. Is the section you navigate critical? Jordan showing great variety now. Carrying a ton of speed, the big float rides it as long as he possibly can. Is there style or an aggressive angle to the floater? Felipe tags this one, big, strong, solid closeout floater. Can you ride away clean from a massive freefall? Sally Fitzgibbons, an aggressive backhand float in the flats. And of course, floaters have consequence too, as boards and bones can easily snap in the impact zone. So good for Defay, big section. Now let's take a look at Geordie Smith on this spectacular float on a 10-point ride in Jeffreys Bay, South Africa. Geordie is so comfortable at this wave, it allows him to perform a variety of different manoeuvres in all different types of sections. And when the opportunity arises to seal the deal with a massive floater, he takes it. As he comes out of the barrel, you can see him lining up the section that he's about to hit. He's familiar enough with this wave that he knows when is the right time to commit to dancing across the lip. Something that really sets this floater apart is how long it is. Jordy sits on the roof of the wave for as long as he possibly can. Very unique circumstance here for Jordy. He actually pumps halfway through this floater in order to make it as long as possible. As he's on the roof of the wave, we can see two things. Number one, the angle of Jordy's board. And number two, the fact that he's looking over that lead shoulder and spotting the landing where he needs to execute. The key to this wave is gonna be riding away cleanly, which he does being rewarded handsomely for this statement maneuver. Huge float rooftop, and he rides out of it, ladies and gentlemen. Now you see how delicate the balance is for executing a floater when the stakes are high. So whether you're on the championship tour or hitting a closeout at your local sandbar, have fun negotiating your next section. That's the attack that we've come to expect from Ferreira. For more WSL Surf 101, head over to worldsurfleague.com.